Hi Gemini, how are you? I hope you are doing well. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Mina or Sinful Pluto. Um, and if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I'm really happy to have this experience with you. Um, so last week I did take a little bit of a break if you didn't notice. <laughs> um, I It was my birthday week and I've just been dealing with personal issues so I just needed to step away. But I am back again, and I'm very excited, so let's just get into it, okay, Gemini? So this is going to apply for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, if you want to check those as well, um, in Tropical and Sidereal, and this is for the week of July 29th, so let's just get into it, all right? So what should Gemini be expecting the upcoming week? What should Gemini expect the week of July 29th? Ooh, okay, so we have a lot of action going on here. We have the Eight of Wands. So there's going to be a lot of communication, rapid-fire communication, a lot of texting, a lot of connectivity. It could be in relation to a King of Cups or Verse. So it could be a water sign or just someone. To, this can be two things. This can be someone who, with the King, King of Cups or Verse, this can signify not only a water sign, but it can also signify either... Someone who is very emotionally detached, someone who is very emotionally unavailable, or it could also just be someone really emotionally unstable, really erratic, um, emotionally manipulative, or it could just be both. So, yeah. And then we have the Four of Wands. So we have some sort of celebration for you, Gemini. And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles reversed, and then the Two of Pentacles reversed under that, and then the Five of Wands reversed under that. Okay. So let's get into this. All right, so for some of you, the Eight of Wands can signify that maybe you're getting away from a King of Cups in your life. Maybe you're getting away from them. Maybe you're moving away. Maybe you're traveling away from them. Maybe you're moving out um, from the house. You know, there's something where you're, you're creating a, a distance between you and them, and it's very quickly that it's going on. It's not some, It's something that kind of happens overnight. Um... So that's one thing. With the five with the four of wands, I feel like, you know, some of you are feeling really good about that. And you I feel that some of you may have found a really stable household for you to live in to kind of get away from this King of Cups. Um, for some of you, this can also just be like you're just celebrating the fact that you're away from this person. Um I also feel like for some of you, maybe this King of Cups gives you a lot of like material things or something because there's a lot of here there's a lot of things going on and there's like a treasure test <coughs> excuse me sorry but there's like a little treasure test here so maybe this person kind of gives you a lot of things all at once um but they're 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 emotionally available but are emotionally unavailable but i feel like they still kind of care for you in some sense because i feel like they're always giving you gifts or presents or something. They're always giving you something. I feel like this could be, like, for some of you, this could be, like, a sugar daddy. <laughs> um, but we also have the Ace of Pentacles reversed, which is um, a delay in some sort of opportunity, a delay in an offer, or it could also signify you clinging on a little bit too hard to material things, and that's why you're not able to really progress or move forward. So... Let's get into this. I want to what I want to clarify some of this. So, what is this four of wands? What is this four of wands here? What is this four of wands, please? I'm using the Santa Muerte tarot deck. If you're wondering, um, I got it for my birthday, and I'm honestly so obsessed with it. I'm in love. All right, got two cards. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Wands reversed. So we have the Fool and the World reversed. Ooh. What? Oh my god, okay. So we have a beginning and then we have a complete ending, but Four of Wands. What? I've never had this pairing before. That's so cool. Okay, so the Fool can signify someone... Okay, I feel like I know what this is. So with the Eight of Wands, right, there is that rapid fire movement. It could be traveling, you know, you could be going somewhere via airplane specifically because it's very fast, but it could just be somewhere that's really fast. Um, maybe to get away from this person, 
for some of you, I feel like this King of Cups reverse is like the father figure and you're moving away from a stable household because even though this person is, you know, emotionally unavailable, I feel like the household was very stable for you and I feel like it gave you everything that you needed and so I feel like a lot of you are kind of going out on a limb and you are, you know, acting, you know, like the fool, um, Maybe a little bit impulsively, but I feel like a lot of you kind of just want to assert your independence. You want to do something on your own. You want to travel on your own. You want to do your own thing. You want to explore. You want to discover your own things. You want to make your own mistakes. You want to do a lot of all of that sort of stuff. Um, you could also be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius. Um, or you might have Aquarius or Aries in your own birth chart. But that's kind of what it feels like. Is like you just want to get away from this person. You want to do your own thing. Um... Yeah, I feel like a lot of you just like want to travel. You want to see the world. You want to experience different things. You want to gain your own insight. And, you know, this person might see you as a literal fool and they might have been discouraging you from doing all of this and, you know, kind of just trying to keep you at the home. But I feel like you you just needed to get away. You need to kind of leave behind your old life and create a new one, especially with Leo season going on here. So it makes sense why you want to just do your own thing, why you want to just explore what you want to learn and I feel like for some of you you might not be leaving with much I kind of similar to the fool here you're just leaving with a very like some of your own personal valuables but you're leaving behind a life of like wealth in a sense um it can be any sort of wealth but there's like a plethora of things there's like an abundance here of things and you're leaving with only this little suitcase so I feel like you're really kind of going out on a limb and you're leaving behind a lot of like stability to just go ahead and explore um and with the ace of pentacles reverse that's kind of one you leaving behind that sense of stability but i also feel like you're kind of going after some sort of opportunity in your life but i feel like you'll find out that for some of you maybe you feel that you really had to move because you couldn't really attain this opportunity or you couldn't reach this opportunity or you couldn't accept this offer if you just continued staying at home. And that's why I think that a lot of you really wanted to leave because you wanted to chase after this opportunity or offer for stability for yourself. And then with the moon, with the world reversed, I feel like there's a lot of unfinished business here. I feel like this wasn't really the right time for you to do this. This, is, this isn't really the right time for you to do this right now. I feel like there's a lot of loose ends that need to be tied up. There's a lot of miscommunication or misunderstandings with the Page of Wands. I feel like there's a sense of immaturity coming with you, Gemini, where you want to move and you want to do your own thing, but I feel like you haven't really planned it out very clearly or you just haven't really thought everything through. And I feel like when you go out on your own and do your own thing, I feel that some of you might face a few obstacles because of the fact that you haven't really planned everything out. And we have the, the Nine of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this is, I feel like for some of you, this is more so the fact that you're just not talking. You're kind of keeping everything to yourself, um, Gemini, and you are, um, you're just not thinking things through. I feel like you have this, this sense of like, I know what I'm doing. I know, I know, you know, I'm like, I'm a grown up now. I'm, I'm independent now. I can do my own thing. I can make my own decisions. And I feel like someone is really trying to advise you, like, chill out for a second. And this person, maybe you're not really listening to this person because you don't have that sort of emotional connection to them. Or it could also be that they're just trying to manipulate you. In which case, you know, like, I understand why you want to leave them. But if this person is genuinely, like, an emotionally unavailable person, but you know that they care for you, um, I feel like it's important to listen to their advice because I feel like with this page of wands reverse, it's just like communication has to be had. You have to have a talk with this person. I feel that if you want to... If you want things to go right, if you want things to go your own way, if you want the world to be upright, then you need to do things the right way rather than just taking that leap of faith and not really knowing what you're doing. Um, it's good that you're taking a leap of faith and I'm really happy for that, but I feel like it has to be done the right way. Um, so I want to clarify. I'm going to move. Uh, I'll just move this. I want to clarify this King of Cups. So who is this King of Cups? What are their intentions? How do they feel about this? What what role do they play here? Who is this King of Cups reverse? What is this energy? What are their intentions? What is their role in this reading? Okay. 
got one card and then bottom of the deck seven of cups so they might have really high expectations of you which i mean gemini i really do feel as though they um I feel like in your past readings, I've, I've had that before, where they had really high expectations of you. And I think I was encouraging encouraging you to take that leap of faith. But now, I mean, I'm not saying to not take the leap of faith, but I'm saying, like, you need to tie up your loose ends before you do. Um, there's, there's conversations to be had so that there's some sort of closure that you, like, there's a closure that you need before you're able to leave. I feel like that's the thing that has to be had. So go ahead, take your leap of faith, but not before you clean up any sort of mess that you need to clean up so for the king of cups uh to clarify it i have the knight of swords so again someone emotionally unavailable um this could also just be someone really kind of also someone um I don't want to say childlike, but someone who's a little bit more immature someone who can be very impulsive um I feel like they're not going about things the right way. They have the right intentions. They do have good intentions with you, but because they're a little bit emotionally unavailable or they just don't know how to express themselves emotionally, there's ha you're having a hard time with the communication here. You're having a hard time with texting, with talking, with with, with just any sort of conversation that you, or discussion that you need to have. You're having a little bit of a hard time doing that because they're expressing themselves differently. So I need you to know, Gemini, that... It might feel that they don't care or it might feel that they don't understand you, but it's mostly because, or it might even feel that they have bad intentions or that they're trying to hold you back. No, I don't think that this person has bad intentions. I just think that they don't know how to properly express themselves because I think that you just have different ways of talking to one another. You have, there's, there's a commute, there's a blockage in communication and it's misunderstanding, misunderstandings and not really taking the time to understand one another. So I think that it's, it's, it's good to talk to this person, I think, and to actually listen to them and to listen to their advice, whether it's a whether it's a parental figure, whether it is a, a friend of yours, whether it's like a mentor or something, a grandparent, whoever this is, it could like a water sign in your life, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, listen to their advice because I do think that they have good intentions and I do think that they want to talk to you. But there's confusion here. And with the Seven of Cups here, um, they have, they just have a hard time talking to you. Um, there's a lot of confusion around the situation and I feel like they kind of, for some of you, I feel that they see through the BS. They see through the fact that you might be a little bit idealistic here. You might be kind of... Um, they see that you're being presented with um, a life full of roses and rainbows and all of that. And I think that they see through this and I think that they want you to be happy and they want you to chase after your dreams. They want you, you know, to do all. Of, I feel like they, they want you to do this, um, even if they don't admit it. But and even if they don't want you to do it, but they I feel that. OK, so for some of you. They want you to go for it, but they want you to do it practically and rationally and realistically. For others of you, they may not want you to go through with this moment, with the moment that you're going through right now, but they know that they can't control you and they know that if you're going to do it, you might as well do it properly and realistically. So they're going to support you either way. I feel like they kind of support you and even if it's a little bit hesitant, they, they want, they support you and they want the best for you. So just listen to this person, hear this person out because I feel like they're going to give you some really sound advice. Um, so there's that. I want to clarify this ace of pentacles reverse i feel that some of you um for some of you they might want to give you like financial advice maybe you're not the best with your money maybe you're a little bit reckless with money uh a little bit reckless with budgeting and stuff like that in which case you need to listen to them um and like actually listen to them not just kind of say that you're listening to them or have it go in one ear not the other listen to them um so there's that okay ace of pentacles reverse what is this energy I need to charge my computer, damn. So, Ace of Pentacles reversed. What is this Ace of Pentacles reversed? Yeah, Seven of Swords. You need to rest. You need to take a time out and think things through because you're not thinking right. You're not thinking straight. So, we have Strength in the Sun. Oh, my God. This is pride. Yeah, this is pride. So, 
Okay, Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is you potentially losing out on a really great opportunity because you're going things a little bit too quickly. I mean, we have the Ace, we have the Eight of Wands. So things are really rapidly changing for you. You're making rapid decisions and I don't think that you're thinking them through properly. So with the strength, I mean, we have Leo energy here. We have very, very, very strong Leo energy here. So this could be a matter of you not wanting to let go of your pride. This is, again, you thinking that you know everything, but you don't uh, because, I mean, you're coming through as a fool and like... <laughs> This is a very new experience for you. This is a very new thing for you. And you need to strategize. You need to have a plan so that things go smoothly and you don't have to go through this Ace of Pentacles moment of missing out on a really great opportunity. So again, um, if you let your pride and ego get in the way of you, that's going to impact you. Um, so just take a break. Yeah, take a break. You could also just be de dealing with a Leo or you maybe you have Leo placements in your chart. But that's what I have. Um, I'm going to go ahead with an affirmation for you, uh, Gemini, uh, for the upcoming week. I'm using affirmators if you're interested in this deck. That's what it looks like. So let's see. Oh, wait. I don't want to get it. Okay. So what affirmation does Gemini need to hear at this time? What affirmation does Gemini... Oh my god, I didn't just stand straight. What affirmation does Gemini need to hear for the week of July 29th? What affirmation does Gemini need to hear? What affirmation does Gemini need to hear? Okay. We have clarity. Stop listening to my... In oh, stopping... Stopping to listen to my inner self, I can easily separate my intuition from my mental chatter. The clarity of my intuition is a sweet, simple fruit that tastes familiar. And the mental chatter is confusing. It's a confusing, bitter rind that I shall peel off and chuck into the garbage or compost heap if your mental chatter happens to be organic. <laughs> so that's what it is for you. And then I'm going to pull from my spirit animal oracle for you. And then, well, we, we, we will be on our way, darling. <laughs> Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, what message does Gemini need to hear at this time? What message does Gemini need to hear at this time? Got one. Got two. All right. Bottom of the deck. Magic works through you. All right. I'm going to try to make this quick because my computer's about to die. All right, so we have Owl Spirit, You See Clearly Now, and Armadillo Spirit, Set Healthy Boundaries. All right, so so for some of you, listen, definitely listen to your intuition. I mean, we have clarity, and you see clearly now. So definitely listen to your intuition. Don't just follow what your mind says or what. Don't just follow the crowd. Don't just do what everyone is telling you to do. Definitely follow your intuition, but also don't do anything so impulsively. Listen to advice and take it for what it is. Actually listen to it and, you know, don't take it for granted. Uh, but yeah, you see clearly now, this is this is telling me that you, need, you really need to open your eyes to this whole situation and see it for what it really is um, rather than letting yourself get caught up in the Seven of Cups moment of being really idealistic and dreaming and like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this because I know how you can be Gemini where you want to do everything at once and that can really work against you when you're not planning everything out and you end up kind of just like never finishing any sort of project because you're starting and you're not planning anything. So I know you have really wonderful ideas, but I, I think that planning is a, it's going to be beneficial. It's always beneficial for you to plan something out. So really open your eyes to the situation. Um, 
use your knowledge to your advantage, okay? Because um, we know that you're not stupid. You're very intellectual. You're very smart. So use that to your advantage. And with Armadillo Spirit, set healthy boundaries. Um, set healthy boundaries with yourself. Don't make any sort of stupid decisions. Um, don't let yourself do anything that you wouldn't advise anyone else to do. Um, it could also just be that you need to set healthy boundaries with other people. Um, or they need to set healthy boundaries with you. They need to set boundaries as to, okay, so for some of you, this could just be the fact that this person might be trying to overstep their authority. They might be trying to overstep their power, in which case you need to let them know that, you know, you're in control of your own life. You have to do what your own thing, but also listen to them, you know, it... <sighs> don't completely block the person out. Yeah, don't completely block out the person. Don't block them out completely, but just listen. That's all that it really is. You don't have to say yes. You don't have to say no, but just listen. Just be open. Be open-minded. Be open to listening to taking the advice um, and letting them know that you're going to make your decision one way or another so they have to watch themselves and not try to control you and not try to control whatever it is that you do. You know, you have to assert yourself in that way. You know, with the strength card, that can also signify that if someone is opposing you, you have to be strong and have resilience and stay within your position um, and stand tall and stand strong. But also, let them know that not to play with you, not to mess with you, but just do have healthy communication. And I feel like you'll, I feel that hopefully you will begin to see that they do have good intentions, but they're just not going about it the right way. With the Knight of Swords here, it's just like, they just might be a little bit too overbearing for you and you need to let them know like, hey, chill out, you know, give me my space. But again, listen to them. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. Definitely reflect on the situation. Definitely take time to just think about it, to plan everything out, to strategize. Uh, use your intellectual mind, use your intelligence um, to your advantage, okay? So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your experience. Um, give the video a thumbs up. And what else, what else, what else? Oh, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at SimplePluto.com. You can also find me on social media at uh, on, at Simple Pluto on Twitter and Instagram. So I think that's all that I have for you. Um, drink water, eat your food, uh, meditate, do some yoga. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have for you. I love you and I will see you soon. Bye.